Can you please tell everyone a little bit about your oldest sister? Uh, well, she's a bit of a perfectionist, but she makes it work, I think. This quote is very accurate to how I was feeling today. I had so many little things to catch up on. Cleaning, watering plants, laundry, responding to emails. I even painted for a little bit, yet I felt like that wasn't good enough because that stuff is just a requirement of life and that I would only be productive if I had made major waves of progress in my painting, wrote something spectacular, had a new idea, new, 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 new. Some days are a maintenance day, a day where things feel cyclical and the same as last week, and those days are a huge part of what makes everything else work, so I should be very happy with them. I'm not, but I will try to be. Then I can be excited about planting my seeds and new things for the rest of the week. Let's dive into the last two weeks, starting with planting seeds and ending in my childhood home. We're going somewhere. Why? To buy something from Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> I'm just here for the ride. It's kind of pretty. With my best attempts, to stay present in between. First mission accomplished. I am ready to plant my flower seedlings for the year. And I usually start them outside. This year I want to do something different, just to see if I can get them to bloom earlier and enjoy them earlier in the summer. That would be great. Now, hopefully I don't get dirt everywhere. I should do this outside or in the bathroom, but... <laughs> my seeds! I know this isn't my best idea, but I'm gonna try and pour it. I could be doing this on the balcony. How's it going, Maria? A little windy. My job for 10 summers at home was to help raise and sell perennial plants. Despite the effort, the slowness and repetitions, I still loved the colors, the feel and shape of every flower. No! The perspective of a gardener is one that knows how big, small things can become and how beneficial a storm can be. There is never-ending lessons and joy in things that grow. That is done. I'm very excited about my little plants. I didn't have enough space to do everything, but that's actually good because then halfway through the summer I can put in what's left so that something blooms early, something blooms late, and I have a beautiful garden this year. I think last year I planted some zinnias in the first week of April and it snowed, so I, you know, it doesn't always work. I will clean this up, consider that a success, and move on to something else. A newish role, but mm -hmm. I made the decision in 2020 to leave the previous job for <laughs> mental health and also mm -hmm. to focus on painting. And I, the timing wasn't ideal, actually. I just put the first layer of color on the skin here, and it looks really weird for skin at first. But in the context of the scene, it's going to make sense being kind of backlit, but also very red from this light bouncing around. I did have to go back and fill and re-sand a couple little cracks in the plywood, so the white marks are from new gesso on top. Even though it's really sunny outside, it is deceiving because it's very cold. I am really looking forward to warm weather. By the time this piece is done, we will be in full motion with spring, so that's two things to look forward to. Make my bed, straight A's, a job well done, all in desire to be enough. Even I knew I should be doing it for myself instead of others. So I left public high school early, I left a professional job that was barely started, and every time I still 
wanted each mark to fit in its rightful place. For me, the desire for order comes from within. I don't dread it, and I don't fight it. Coming up! Ooh, I'm too lazy to move this whole thing, so... I will risk my life instead! Never mind, I will be smart now. accomplished a lot today. My brain is a little numb so I can't even tell you what all was done but all I know is that there's a lot to do but that will have to be for tomorrow so cleaning up. I'd like to at least get my space a little bit tidy at the end of each day. I feel more calm coming back to it then later. <laughs> the hardness of this path uh, approach, which I said was more realistic, is the reason why you're you're hesitating to get going is that often it is really, really hard to get the, the uh, success with something really cool. And your brain recognizes that and it sees how hard it is. getting tired again so I think it's time for me to wrap this up. Very happy with what I've done. It was feeling kind of weird at the end of yesterday still having a lot of the values incorrect. A lot of them are much closer. Not completely. I think this needs to get darker. There's more down here that needs to get darker. I'm being very careful to build this in layers because I don't really want to get this color wrong so I'd rather have it be washy for a while and slowly add to it. And the sun is coming out. Time to clean up a little. I'm really enjoying working at this size also because I can be more free with my brush. And then I feel more free to try different things. It's just a more open process. Maybe later in the final stages it won't be like that, but... Part of me is realizing that I may never go back to smaller pieces. Snowy day in the neighborhood, snowy day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Springtime, please come back. I'm not a huge fan of how 
how this color is looking. I want it to be cooler, so I'm gonna add some white to it. Hope that I don't mess it up too much. I'm thinking that's a little bit more of the tone I wanted. I think it feels like a reading day <laughs> instead of a painting day. From a tiny age, I've tried to make others feel calmer, happier, more inspired, saying cheesy things and cheering up anyone, starting long ago with my own twin. It's been just a couple days and these little zinnias are already popping up. Hey little guys. I've found that by caring deeply for my own curiosities, ideas, and spaces, I can put myself in the best state of mind and spirit to be there for others. My peace is all that I can control, and it's usually what has the most impact anyways. Things are looking a little different in here. We're saying goodbye to the carpet, but we're going to do it in stages, so this was good progress for today. I was really antsy. With the snow going on, I just needed to do something, so. Good job, Maria. I will admit that I just have too many paintings out that should be in some sort of storage. In the meantime, this is at least gonna be a little bit more minimal. One of my small pieces, and then I've put more stuff down here so it's out of the way. Look at these. These ones are for me. <laughs> nice load. Good morning. Yesterday I did not film except for at Home Depot. We were picking up plants for a client and oh, I got a few of my own goodies. <laughs> Look how pretty. I'm just keeping them in here until I can plant them outside later. And then my little Zinnias are doing great. Snapdragons are coming. I picked up more glad bulbs. Love those. And some cannas. And also, we've begun ripping out the carpet. We're hoping to put in this flooring. We do need to get a little bit more than what we already have over here. This room will be a bit of a process. Taking out carpet putting flooring in because we have so much stuff in here that is large and heavy and the flat file on its own is a nightmare to move. It'll be interesting. I'm really excited though. Otherwise, I've been hanging out and writing and reading because the weather is pretty gloomy. It's spring break week for my siblings, so I'll be going home anyways. The painting is quietly lurking behind me. Really wanted to do more on it, but I think I need a break, so we'll get back to it soon enough. Look what Luca made me. He's an abstract artist now. This is beautiful. House. Kind of looks like he's in prison. Look at these little. Well, they're not babies anymore. Beep, 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 beep. Francis added two in the beginning, so. How come they're all in the same spot? Smile. <laughs> How's your pie, Grandma? <laughs> Looks pretty good. I'll see you in the morning. How's that sound? Okay. Good night. Nothing new. There's no new ones. Pizza. Time for donuts. 
So what is that gonna be? Another platform here. Or here. I like the soccer match going on. So where should this go? Or here? Wherever you want. Maybe covered with a few things, but this was one of my first big paintings on my original bedroom wall. It's my sister's room now, but and then a lot of my old artwork is hidden under the bed here. This was just a paint by number from when I was a kid, but that was one of my first experiences with painting, and I really, really liked it. Some signs I made. This was from a school assignment. The fence continuing on. Oh man, I forgot about a lot of this. Clearly I really liked drawing with perspective. I could make all kinds of rooms that I dreamed of having. I guess this is another school piece. wonder how old I was. I think this was the first catalog I got about my ad. And I was hooked. Engaging fully and slowly with our lives is undervalued and pushed aside with excuses way too often. We are observing the chickens. Please tell us your name. Welcome to the show. Uh, what's your name? Luca. You're fired. Seriously guys, I don't have anything. So in all these odd moments, in between seasons, I find myself relearning all these things from my past. I'm back with my buddies. I'm a little tired, but I'm excited because my paints came. Mostly colors that I was running out of, these two. These are new ones. This is a new one I wanna test out. Brushes, more sponges. Look at that fog out the window. Very misty. Right guys, my little plants are doing good after the trip. And this we'll get back to in a few days. There is lots to do and now that I've had a good break, I'm excited to get back to it. 